Diagon Alley. All right, Diagon Alley. This, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Oh, good. What do you think this is? (laughs) (laughs) I'm pretty sure this is kind of the marketplace, lots of shops where... Harry goes to get his wand, for example. Seems, I think mm-hmm. there's a lot of other things there, but that's all that's coming to mind. Yes, exactly. It's the wizard shopping street, basically. Okay. We've got Ollivander's, the wand shop. Yeah. Flourish and Blots, Madame Malkin's rose, robe shop, um, Gringotts Bank is also there. Yeah. Lots of different shops. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Phew, I got it right. You got it. You knew what it was. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, so Diagon Alley is accessed from behind the London pub called the Leaky Cauldron. Does that sound familiar? That rings a bell, Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah. And the Leaky Cauldron, this fictional pub, is located on the real road called Charing Cross Road in London, uh, which is known for its specialist and used bookshops. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps a place that Rowling hung out in some of those bookshops? I would say that's pretty likely. Uh, it's a well-known road. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I've seen some places that, that uh, Diagon Alley was inspired by the Shambles in York, England. You've been to oh, York, yeah. right? I have walked down the Shambles, yes. Mm-hmm, me too. It's one of my favorite places. It's so fun. It's this cute little alleyway, narrow old buildings, Jacobian Tudor buildings, the the white ones with the beams exposed and the upper story that sticks out over the the lower story. So that was kind of the inspiration for Diagon Alley. Definitely fitting and definitely, uh, from what I'm remembering in the movies, how it was depicted, definitely reminds me of that real world location in York. Yeah, I wonder if the the art director on the movies actually used that as an inspiration. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I wouldn't <sure>. be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So Diagon Alley, um, if you say it uh, fast or with the emphasis on the other syllable, um, <laughs> it sounds like diagonally. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Yes. <laughs> Diagon Alley, diagonally, um, mm-hmm. which is appropriate because it's kind of this street that uh, is in the middle of Muggle London, but it's it's askew or at an angle, a diagonally, an offshoot almost of, um, you know, the the Muggle world takes you diagonally mm-hmm. into another dimension almost, into the wizarding world. Yeah, okay, cool. Diagon comes from the Latin diagonalis or the Greek diagionis, no, diagonios. That's better. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Oh my God. Why is that so hard to say? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's all Greek to me. Yep. (laughs) Um, Yeah. (laughs) But anyway, so dia means through and gonia is angle. So it's like through at an angle. So diagonally. uh, So literally diagon means when you blur the words together, what it sounds like. Diagonal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's, (laughs) yeah, that's, um, that's wild. Mm Mm-hmm. Wait, there's more. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) If you also, you take the whole um, name, Diagon Alley, Alley comes from the French allée, which means walking or passage. Mm -hmm. So this is a passage diagonally to the wizarding world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what a very fitting name. Very fitting. Well, and and in the the, um, series, is this the first time that we, the the reader or the watcher, uh, goes into the wizarding world? Exactly. This is the uh, okay. Harry's first taste, and thus the reader's first taste of the Wizarding World. Okay. It's our passage into this magical realm. <laughs> so cool. That is just askew diagonally from the Muggle world, the real world. <laughs> yes, into the parallel universe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. What a Isn't well thought cool? out kind of introduction for the reader uh, or watcher. Yeah. Um, if you uh, break it out slightly differently, there's kind of another fun um, fun thing you can do with Diagon Alley. If you uh, say it like 
diagonally, li or l e y or lay. Do you know what lay lines are? Um, no. No, lay lines are like ancient lines that um, uh, pay, different pagan religions would um, use that connect ancient monuments or land formations like burial mounds or standing stone circles. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was thought to be lines of earth energy or power or magic. Um, oh. And they were used in many pagan religions and, and still in things today like um, dowsing or numerology or, you know, guiding alien spacecraft, that sort of thing. It's just my weekend hobby. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you go out in these ley lines and, and uh, you know, flag down the, the UFO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So diagonally is sort of a magical line of power for witches and wizards into the, the wizarding mm-hmm. world. Sort of a ley line mm-hmm. in that way. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's another yeah. cool kind of interpretation of the name. Mm-hmm. And I had one more little fun thing is Diagon in the Urban Dictionary has a definition. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And it's one that we can air? We can air it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It means a girl with many secrets or hidden talents, maybe nefarious and invisible to her peers. Okay. So it kind of fits, right? It's mm. a hidden secret place that's invisible to the muggles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Do you think that that Urban Dictionary definition predates the Harry Potter series? That's a good question. Which came first, the mm. chicken or the egg? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which came first, Harry <laughs> Potter or the Urban Dictionary? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I suspect Harry Potter. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. So that's Diagon Alley. What do you think? Well, there's always, I mean, especially the first time the reader or watcher is being introduced to things, it seems that Rowling put a lot of effort into making it um, either like an Easter egg or just make have layers to the name, have it really mm-hmm. make sense. And this is one mm-hmm. of those perfect examples that it's a cool sounding name. It just mm-hmm. kind of like fits with the, the, the vibe of this place, but it has these hitting meanings. You know, it's also cool that Diagon Alley is kind of inspired by a real world r- street that mm-hmm. has these bookshops. I mean, it, I could totally picture her sitting in one of these bookstores and coming up with this name uh, mm-hmm. while sitting right there and saying, OK, it's going to, okay. you know, it's going to be this hidden passageway out behind this bookshop that I'm in right now. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. What if that pub across the street led into the wizarding world? Uh-huh. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> yeah. And what yeah. should it be called? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, cool. Yeah. I like it. Me and too. <laughs> now I want to go back to York, England and I know, right? <laughs> walk down the shambles again. <laughs> I'll have to bring my wand. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, if you'd like to learn more about uh, the rest of the names of places and people and spells and creatures that we talk about in the future, definitely subscribe to the Potter Nims podcast. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Potter Nims. Yes, and now we're animated on YouTube. Whoa! Woohoo! <laughs> you can see our cool floating heads go all over the screen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you want some more uh, additional content, you can um, support us on Patreon to get uh, bonus uh, gag reels and uh, extra clips that didn't make the episodes. That's patreon.com slash potternims. Well, until next time, I'm Eric. And I'm Al. And this has been Potternims. Potternims.